that one town square element is representative of how everybody comes together and I look forward to it starting again. We started this market with six vendors, myself being one of them. And that has grown, you know, every year, uh, somewhat exponentially. The market was certainly entering, you know, the busy spring season. <clears throat> we were getting to the, you know, to the good time. And I, along with everybody else, was so surprised at the immediacy of all the decisions and realities. That first week, I, I had a hard time with it, and I know a lot of other people did too. I own a handbag business. I started it about 13 years ago here in Columbia. Um, I utilize vintage um, and dead stock fabrics in my bags and um, leather seconds. So I try to be um, environmentally conscious about the materials that I buy. Um, and I've been doing it for a really long time. I love it. I work from home. Um, I sell online and then usually I'm um, at Soda City Market on Saturdays. It's been a challenging time. Um, I've been trying to just go with the flow every day and take it one day at a time. Probably the, the biggest hurdle for me was when I determined that I would no longer have a weekly market. That Saturday market downtown Soda City is a huge source of my revenue. It's it's like having a storefront one day a week. So I had I had a feeling that it would probably end up getting canceled and it did. So I've had to just be creative with how to supplement that income. It's it's just been a tough time financially for so many people. We are now a skeleton staff. Um, so uh, I've laid myself off first and I have one remaining staff member who manages all the office and uh, money and the accounts and insurance and all that kind of business. So I continue to, to push forward. The obstacles are not unlike any, anybody else has. We all have the same obstacles at the moment. Um, so I'm waiting like everybody else on what the proper reopening thing is, uh, strategies. I love dancing at Soji City because I get to see everybody's happy faces and some people even dance along with me, which I love. My life has changed because now that Soda City is closed and I don't get to dance, it makes me feel sad because I can't see anybody's happy faces or the vendors which are amazing. Some of the vendors have been very creative um, in, uh, from the prepared food vendors to uh, you know, crafts, jewelry, online sales, um, curbside pickup ordering, that type of thing. People dug deep and people were creative and people in this city got inventive or more so. And that really built a, a community of, of artistry and abilities um, that didn't exist before. I've tried to be creative. I think like, consistency with a small business is, is key. So um, customers usually see a picture of me every Saturday morning on Main Street in front of my Nana booth. And since I'm not able to be out there, what I've been trying to do is every Saturday have a picture of me in front of my studio door. So at least there, you know, there's a little check-in once a week with everybody like usual. And so I've been doing that every Saturday still. Of course, the past maybe week and a half or two, my studio has turned into kind of mass production mode. I joined a local group of people that are, are sewing masks for healthcare workers. So donating and sewing masks. And um, I, I started doing that and then pretty quickly thereafter, have had non-healthcare workers requesting face masks. And so, I have kind of turned over my, my business to that for now. It's a, a, a need, so it's not anything that I ever anticipated that I would take on making. But because of the need and demand every day from pretty much first thing in the morning till about nine o'clock at night, that's all I do is cut, uh, sew, 
make masks and just organize pickups and retrieval of them. That takes up a good bit of the time too. So that's kind of how I've been evolving through this. I, I would tell my customers to just keep supporting those small businesses the best that they can. And, um, and their support and their, their words of kindness have just been huge for me and for so many other small business owner friends of mine. If I send, send it a, message, a message to folks, it would be to stay healthy and keep dancing because I would never, ever stop dancing. And I hope you never, ever stop dancing too. We miss you, and I know you miss your vendors, and I know you miss the atmosphere, and I know you miss the dogs, and I do too. And we'll all get back to normal at some point, and uh, in the meantime, vendors, ab above all, uh, are self-reliant, creative survivors. We can't wait to be together as a city again.